We are on the island of Hydra, and we just came from the island of Ag Agis Agistra. I don't know. Every summer since 2018, we've been working with Pride Sailing Holidays, and they do sailing trips in Greece, in Croatia, and in Italy. So we definitely recommend you join one of the trips uh, whenever you can. They're gay group trips. So one of the coolest things about uh, a sailing trip, gay sailing trip in general, is, is so basically, we spend a week long on a boat with a bunch of other gay people. We get a mix of couples and friends and even solo travelers that yeah. come on the trip, which is really cool. Yeah, and a little bit more about boat life. So it's a it's a clothing optional sailing trip. So some people like to go skinny dipping, sunbathing nude on the deck. We uh, check out some uh, nude beaches. So that's all uh, up to you. If you yeah. want a free ball it or, <laughs> or, or be in your Speedo all week. How's the water, Zach? Good? Hello. Okay, okay. Good travel. <laughs> One of my favorite things about sailing in Greece and Croatia are just the amazing views. The islands are absolutely gorgeous, mm -hmm. beautiful sunsets. We basically go to a new island every day. So in the morning we have what, like a two to three, four hour sail roughly. Yeah, and in the mornings we wake up, we have a slow breakfast, uh, then we usually start sailing. Oh my God, this, this looks pretty. delicious. <laughs> Thank you so of much. Of course, there you go. Uh, yummy. Pedro, what's for breakfast? Got some fresh pork, bread, butter, granola balls. Awesome. Uh, some egg of the day special. Yes. And then uh, we'll stop somewhere for lunch in the yeah. little cove and we'll anchor off. And uh, and uh, my, one of my favorite things is just laying around, sunbathing, um, reading, relaxing, getting to know new people, uh, drinking wine at lunch, drinking wine at dinner. Chicken uh, with a big uh, uh, reduction. Yum. Oh Did you reduce it yourself? I it myself. So with Pride Sailing Holidays, we also do uh, theme nights or theme days. We the one that was really fun was just uh, the white party theme. We didn't go to, we don't go to a white party, but we are the white party. It's so everyone dressed in white, which is fun. Uh, wig day. We have Wig Wednesday. Wig Wednesday. Ah! Monday. Andy Monday. Andy Monday. No, it's just a fun way to, you know, just be extra and, <laughs> you know, just kind of be who we are and have a lot of fun with it. And the water has been perfect. It's always warm and perfect for swimming every morning. There's a paddle board on the boat. There's um, the pulley thingy. Tubing, uh, like a tubing Oh yeah, situation. you have like a little tubing thing. <laughs> Well, and one of the options, so basically, you know, every time we get into a port, you have pretty much all afternoon and sometimes even part of the morning to explore the island. You can go on a tour if you want. There's wine tours, there are guided tours, there are... Yeah, people uh, are as, you know, active or take it easy as much as yeah, they want. Some definitely. people just like to chill on the boat and just uh, get off the port for a drink and other people like to go on a tour. But... The skipper of, of the boats will always recommend things to do in every island. Uh, they've been so gracious about booking things for us and making sure that we have all the information. Right. And it's all very like opt-in or opt-out. We are on the island of East in the town of East, I guess it's called. It's and former military they island. They just opened it to tourism at some time. <laughs> I think it was in the 90s because uh, Croatia was part of the formal Yugoslav Re Re Republica. Can I, get, can I be in the shot or? <laughs> I'm not. 
They have a tour here where you can learn about the military history of the island, uh, see the sites of Mamma Mia 2, and some Croatian wine tasting. Yeah, and actually I think they went to uh, Nude Beach um, towards the end of the tour. We, we have people from South Africa, people from um, from Australia, from Italy, Italy from France, France, the U.S. Yeah, uh, um, we've had people from Switzerland in the past, from Germany. We get such a diversity of guests on board, right? So, I mean, we have all ages. We've had people in their 20s. We've had people even in their early 70s. And we have kind of everything in between. So everyone just has kind of an open mind in terms of meeting new people. Make it, make it look good for the camera. You're on. <laughs> How's the water? Good? Cheers, guys. Yeah, cheers. We did it. <laughs> I know that gay pride sailing holiday, is that what they're called? Pride sailing holiday. I know that pride sailing holiday always tries to get us a, a gay skipper and a gay host, but it's the boating world and you know, it can be tough to find exactly that. So they've provided us with the most gay friendly uh, skipper uh, always and they're safe. Thanks, Shane. Yes, thanks, Shane. <laughs> it, it, like in 60 seconds, can you tell us what's it like to sail Croatia? So, Croatia is stunning during the summer. Super hot weather, beautiful sunshine. You guys are going to love it. Uh, we're going to sail where we can if we got some breeze. Should have for the week. Uh, lovely spots, lots of nature, old towns, beautiful people. Everybody is going to have a wonderful time. And lots of wine, right? Lots of wine. Lots of, wine. Lots of alcohol. <laughs> lots of alcohol. But stay safe, guys. That's number yeah. one, all right? All right, awesome. Thank you. It's honestly one of our favorite holidays of the year. We've been Absolutely, doing it for four years now. Hands down, one of our favorites. Yeah, we, we totally Even recommend. Better. It's a really great value actually for, for what you get. Yeah. You know, since uh, the breakfast and lunch is included on the boat, it includes all your sleeping and accommodation. The meals are great. Um, it's a BYOB situation on the boat, so we always have to get like two or three bottles there of wine every day. There is a lot of B, a lot of W, <laughs> a lot of wine. So if you guys are interested in joining the trip, we have put a link in the description of this video. Feel free to send us any questions or comments. Visit our website, TooBadTourist.com to learn more. We'll put the dates uh, in the description. Yes, bye. Bye. That guy has a basil plant on his boat. Hmm. <laughs> Earlier today, he walked over and asked me about like tying these and because our boats were bumping. I was like, I'm not a fucking sailor. I don't know what you do. Uh, how about today when I was with uh, one of our guests, Joff? and the call from this big ass ship and they're like, hey, could you uh, catch this rope? And I was like, fuck no, I can't do that. <laughs> Thank God Joff was there because he took over. So what is Split? I think Split's actually the largest city thing on this area of That's a horrible Croatia, <laughs> Dalmatia. 